All right, we need your help. It's time for some hot takes, and we want your hot take. So go to ozarksfirst.com slash vote right now on your phones. When you get there, middle tab, Ozarks Fox AM, tap that. It'll take you to our first hot take. So we want your opinions because we love them. It's yes. so fun. Yeah. Instant feedback, guys. Instant. And when we say, that's my opinion, this is your opinion. This is your opinion. So <laughs> let's see our first hot take, hot take. shall we? Uh, going up on our Fox phone right now. Make sure you're going there right now. Okay. Okay. So vanilla ice cream is better than chocolate ice cream. Vanilla all the way. Chocolate or bust. Why not swirl? Oh, I do love a swirl. No thanks to both. Okay, thank you for vanilla all the way. I do. I mean, if I'm, my go-to is vanilla. Same. I just love it. Add chocolate to it, you know. Ooh, look what we're seeing. Ooh, a little swirl. Little swirl, thirty-three percent. I'm surprised chocolate's not getting more love. What the heck? What's he happening? No chocolate thought, lovers out there. I wonder if there is a survey and/or poll or scientific poll. Okay, there we go. That chocolate. shows what. It is the most popular flavor of ice cream. Like, I'm sure there has to be. By sales or something. Yeah, because don't you think big ice cream companies have to They have to know. Yeah, to get rid Although, of Although, as an adult now, I love butter pecan. Oh, butter pecan. As a kid, I hated it. Yeah. Adult, I love it. So far, vanilla. Yeah, vanilla is still winning. When somebody calls me, like, vanilla or boring, I take it as a compliment. I do. I'm like, well, hey, vanilla is the best, so that's what you're calling me, yeah. the best. Okay, okay, so far, vanilla, I'm... Oh, oh. Yeah, swirl and chocolate or bust tied 20 What is the what is the place that you can go and get the is that Dairy Queen that does the swirl? Who does the swirl? Soft serve. I, is it McDonald's? McDonald's. McDonald's, I think. I think a lot of places have the swirl. It is good. Yeah. Best of both worlds. Well, I think we know who I think vanilla. Champion Let's is. call it. Let's go to our next vanilla. one. Good job, guys. Thanks for voting. Okay, our next one is designer handbags are a waste of money. Agreed. Fashion comes at a price, or who needs designer, question mark. I was just gonna say. Agreed. I, there's nothing I can't stand more than watching like Real Housewives, and oh. they're talking about their bags, their Birkin bags that cost a million dollars. Yeah, no, no, it's a waste of money. Totally. So thank you, 100%, okay, fashion comes oh, at a price. We've got some fashionistas out there. Who needs designer? Now I will say, I have owned designer wristlets in the past. Mm -hmm. But I didn't I had, ask for them. I was gifted them. That's different then. Okay. You didn't waste your money. I didn't waste my money. I've had a Folex. A fake Rolex. Folex. What? No, you I'm know that's kidding. also a carpet spray? Folex? Folex is a carpet spray for I have... stains. <laughs> so it could be many things. No idea. <laughs> I I agree it's a waste of money. Yeah, 86%. Most of our viewers do too. Fashion comes at a price, and then who needs designer? I always think about like when you spend that much money on something that's more of like, I'd call a luxury item. Yeah. How much I was saying, oh, what can I, how many things for my dogs could I buy with that? Exactly. That's what, I yeah. mean, dogs come first yeah. in our homes. Okay, let's call okay. it agreed. Agreed, it is a waste of money. Concur. Thank you everyone for agreeing with us. Okay. <laughs> Not that this is rigged. No. Okay, it doesn't matter which way toilet paper goes Whoa. on the roll. No! Okay, to each their own, it should go over the top, under is the correct way. No, you know what I've learned? Under is the mullet. Mullets are bad. Over is like with cute bangs, so over. Over is the bangs, under is the mullet. I love that like analogy. That's the way I look at it. <laughs> to each their own. No, it's Wait, easier to you grab. Use toilet paper? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Listen. <laughs> to each their own. To each their own. But I like when you're in there, it's like it just looks prettier over because it's like yeah. presenting. Well, versus... think about when you're in a hotel and they do the cute little triangle. Yes, the little it's triangle. It's always over, so you see it. And I love when they take the toilet paper and fold it into a swan. <laughs> they I do that with the towels, though, on cruise ships. I, they do. Yeah, swans, they make lots of elephants, elephants, all the things. It over should go the over top. the top 65%. I agree. I want to talk to whoever is saying. Each their own. No, sorry, under. The eleven percent under. The eleven percent. Poem one. Okay. I think we can call this one. These are okay. trivial questions, but I love them. Christmas music was meant to be played in the summertime. Well, I mean, it's not meant to be played in the summertime, but I will listen. I've just listened to a few Christmas songs recently. Why? You hate the cold weather. But I love Christmas, and I love Celine Dion's Christmas album. <laughs> what can I say? Okay, Christmas year round. It's only for December. I'm indifferent. Well. It should be only for December, but it starts in October, really. Yeah, which I'm fine with that too. 
I love it. In Christmas the fall. year round. I because I had my um, my my playlist on my phone like on shuffle. Yeah. So I have oh, a lot it's of going through. So it's going through everything, oh. and it will just pop up a Christmas song. I'm like, well, I'm just gonna enjoy this. Well, it could put you just in a good mood, just, you know. Like I watched Step Brothers this morning while I was getting ready, and there's a Christmas scene in it, and I was like, I can't wait to decorate the tree. So. There you go. Okay, only for December one. Let's seventy-eight percent. That's gonna win. Thank it's you for your vote. For December. <gasps> oh. Friends was not a good show. I was watching this yesterday. It's boring and overrated. Best show ever. Haven't seen it. I already know who voted so. first, Kaylee. Kaylee voted first and she probably went. Okay, best show ever. 50 Are you Becky. sure, Kaylee? Okay. Okay, best show ever. I was like, Kaylee's on her phone and she's voting. My dogs watch Friends every day. Along so with I've been working theory. on my project and I have friends on my phone in the background just there so I can know. have comfort. Yeah. I'm Ooh, on season 10 already. It's boring and overrated is winning. Oh my gosh, this is a good tie. Oh my gosh. What? Ooh, it's going down. This is crazy, guys. Geraldo loves the show, and I never knew that about him. He, he loves Friends. I was like, what? Although I will say there was a recent interview with Jennifer Aniston, how she revealed that uh, Lisa Kudrow, who played Phoebe, would sometimes get irritated with the studio audience when they laugh too long. Oh, well, yeah, because it kills the beat. It scene. kills the beat. Also, she was just on Smartless, the podcast. Did you know she played a character named Ursula? Oh, I'm mad about you. So, and then they yes, brought and Ursula. They tied it over to be twins. Didn't That's know the that until yesterday. What? Did not know that. Where have you been? The Liz, not listening to Lisa. And by Kudrow. the way, Helen Hunt and her best friend made a cameo on Friends, and they ran into Phoebe at Central Park and called her Ursula. Oh. So they did huge crossovers back then. Wow, okay, we're calling yes. it, it is boring and overrated. Wow, yes. okay, we won't be there for you. I am not there for you on that one, guys. I'm not there for you. Okay. Starbucks coffee isn't actually that good. Well, it depends on the flavor. I'll go anywhere else. Starbs all the way. I'm not a coffee person. I am this a coffee is, person, but I like to save money too. This is where I would go, however, I do get a fufu thing from Starbucks. What fufu, what's your flavor? Iced caramel latte, almond milk, blonde, extra caramel drizzle. <laughs> You're one of those people. I am one of those I people. I can't take it when I'm in line and I hear somebody going, I'll have a decaf, no fat, low fat, almond milk, calf on the side, cream, half whip, no non-dairy, non-fat, non, -dairy, non, -fat, non -fat. I was like, <laughs> how do you remember this whole order? I know, right? That's why I only get it far and few between A, because it doesn't taste like coffee, and B, it's like eight, eight bucks. Look, can I just say, anywhere else, and I'm not a coffee person, way winning. Yeah. I mean, they're like. I'll go anywhere else. I gotta say, though, I was doing a live show one time, they had a Starbucks, and their little egg sandwich, whatever. Oh, yeah. Really good. Their egg bites, I just okay. got onto those. Very delicious. Very Bacon good. and Gouda. So I think I'll go anywhere else is winning at 55. Go to ozarksfirst.com slash vote right now or scan that QR code that's up in the corner of your screen. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. Pandas are overrated. How did you come up with these questions? This is so I random. I love these. So overrated. Who couldn't love them? They're my favorite. They're all right. By the way, funniest TikTok video showing pandas being silly and goofy and clumsy. And falling. And it says, how are pandas not extinct? I just saw that yesterday. How are pandas not extinct? Because they're, they're so clumsy. Clueless. Who couldn't love them is winning. So overrated. They're my favorite. I, like seriously, I wish, I wish I was allowed to cuddle a baby panda. I know. I love them, they're so cute. Don't they kind of thrive off touch? Because in a lot of the zoos, as they come out as babies, they're like played with and coddled and oh, stuff. Oh, I just, fed. I would love to be one of those people. Yeah. I'll ask my sister-in-law, she worked at the Atlanta Zoo. Okay. But she worked at the orangutans more, but. Oh, oh orangutan so. babies are cute too. So cute. Any baby animal, honestly. 72%, let's call it. Good job, guys. Who couldn't love them? They're so cute. Okay, we got one more. If you haven't played and participated, now's your chance. Making an itinerary ruins the whole trip. Just go with the flow, plan to the minute. Sometimes they're needed. Ooh, I I love an itinerary. I used, okay, I used to be planned, and now I'm go with the flow, and it's my favorite last year, favorite vacation, because I had nothing planned, uh -huh. and I was just in heaven. Yes. I, I did think, what I wanted. I think things that are planned with like a certain start time, if you don't show up 15 minutes before, you lose your spot, that's kind of annoying. But if you have a general idea, like in Key West, okay, I want to go to Sloppy Joe's one yeah. day. I want to get on a jet ski. See, that's what I did when I went to Key West a couple years ago. It's like, today I want to go to the that presidential museum that's there. And yes. then I want to go to that famous guy's house. Hemingway's. Hemingway's, thank you. Yes. And then I want to eat at this restaurant. Now, if you're going on a cruise ship, you do need to plan your excursions once you get on there because those are different, like doing a snorkeling. Yeah. yeah. So I see that side of it. Right. 
and typically those groups get filled. I do okay. agree sometimes. Sometimes I'm I needed. agree. Like when I just went to Nash, we did have somewhat of an itinerary. It was a loose itinerary. Okay. So that was good. But I will say though, Key West, I did what you did. Just didn't have anything planned where we went. Walk down Duval Street. But the, um, yeah, so we're calling that. Okay. There we go. But at the all inclusive, I didn't do any excursions. Yeah. I ate wherever I wanted, laid in the pool, laid in the ocean, laid. It was just. You perfect. actually vacationed. I actually lounged. All right, you guys, we'll be back with lots more fun on Ozark's Fox AM after this. Don't go anywhere. Thanks for voting. Yes, thanks for voting.